Biggest red flag, one of them. I can't say the biggest because all of them was about equal in size. But the one that really stood out the most. So they got these levels in it. And one of the main one of the main levels where they preach, like, once you make it here, you should you kind of financially free. Right? You supposed to be on the trajectory of financial of like seeing I ain't gonna say financially free, but you'll start to see like the reason why you want it to build residual income. Mm -hmm. And that's the platinum level. After doing some research, platinum means you're bringing $60,000 into your business. Not that's the not way what it's kind of phrased is that you're going to be making, if you get to this level, it's 60000 a year in passive income. Right. The guy that was supposed to be, and I'm sure he's still going to go platinum. It might take him a little longer now, but... He's still going to get there. This dude had to move back home with his folks. Like, how bad? Because, so you're not going for making no money to this level, right? So if it was really all of that, you shouldn't be in this desperate financial situation. You should situation. be making a certain money along the way. Right. That's all I'm saying. So when I saw that, I was just like, hold on. And any, I mean, I'm like, I don't know how it would work out, but... They just, everything is just phrased for whatever your objection is or whatever doubt you have. They have a way. I don't, it's a, some kind of weird spell that I just thought that I would never be victim to that because anymore. Because it's, I'm glad you brought that up because once I started kind of going down the rabbit hole and I'm at the, the, the level of hell now. That's how deep into this I am. I just saw the devil outside cutting his grass. Like that's how deep I am right now. But it's toxic positivity they do everything they can to keep you motivated it's toxic. But i wasn't even motivated i was well, annoyed well not you but i'm just saying like no, that's I, how I, I, that's how the scam works it's like no matter what you facing oh just keep the faith you read it's literally people in these at these fucking Videos go back to Dateline. I saw Chris Hansen when he was young do an interview with somebody and they went undercover into one of these meetings and a guy told him, yeah, I make 250 passes. They found out he wasn't. This dude was a crackhead from fucking North Carolina. Like, dude, that's how deep it is. They keep you motivated. They tell you if you get to the conference and you go, oh, well, I've been in the business for two years and I hadn't really seen any income and I hadn't gotten any steam. They're not going to be like, bro, yeah, man, this shit ain't working. They're going to be like, oh, well, just just read more. You know, you know, those books we gave you go back and listen to them again. You must have missed the message. Well, instead of talking to one person a day, talk to five people a day. Right. You know, when you go to the coffee shop, talk to everybody in the coffee shop. And it's like, but what do I tell them? Your story. <laughs> okay, well, what, what, what do I tell them the business is? It just, just tell, it, it, just, just get them to the meeting. But what, do, what do I, what, what are we doing? Ah, just don't, don't tell them about Amway. Don't like whenever you say, don't tell them about this. That's, don't, don't look on the internet. Right. Don't, you should immediately look on the internet. They told that, us in the first vetting meeting. Yeah. Don't, well, you know, all the people on the internet are losers. No, not really. All, all the people that are making, you know, all the people that own YouTube. All the two and, percenters. Yeah, all th those are the, the ones who are making money. Are on YouTube. Do you think you'd be on YouTube if you had money or making money? It's like, yeah. Well, yeah. YouTube entertainment. Well, bro. I don't even really fuck you, honestly. Bro, if you look at it like this, we both write scripts. Let's say we came across an investor and he had millions of dollars to invest in my script and i started talking to him about it he go what's the name of the movie and i go well, i can't tell you that i can't tell you that he's gonna be like fuck you dude fuck out of here you need my money what are you talking about you know what i mean that's the same thing yeah. if you ask somebody what they got going on they want to introduce you to these mentors that retired in their 20s or in their 30s they just pretty much play off of a age maybe 10 years younger than where you are. So if you're 50, they're going to say, oh, well, I met some guys. I know these people that retired in their early 40s or their early, late 30s. And you ask them, well, what do they do to retire? And they go, oh, I can't give you that information. Well, bitch, why are you telling me you know these people? It, it's all a script. 
all it's the all script. it's all a and they do the same script everywhere because <laughs> it's several from being on YouTube disobeying. <laughs> It's several of these groups, bro. They are in every city. They got these shits in every country, damn near. It's a video I gotta watch of why Anway like went bad in Jamaica or some shit. I bet you it was some machetes involved with this shit. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you some motherfucker. Well, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> well, the thing is, is they have a bad reputation from like the '80s with them tapes and the you know they because they used to just sell soap, bro. And people were out here hustling soap. It was one video that I saw, and I could have probably stopped my rabbit hole, but the shit is just interesting to me. And the guy broke down why they have to sell these things. That's where the money comes from. Mm -hmm. It's the tapes. And these people, you might as well listen to Tony Robbins. You might as well listen to Earl or, or Roberts or somebody or, or, or for read free the Bible. online. <laughs> because all of this, all of these stuff is doing is showing you. Most of the people in the business are either minor minorities or Indian people. All of these people are doing is telling you what they do and why they're successful. And it's, it's but it, but it becomes the same like all those meetings that we sat through and like you know all the people that were doing well. Well, you know, do you have anything to say or whatever? And it's like, yeah, guys, you just really have to like you need to set this many meetings you know like right 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 you know, right, right, right that's amazing that's amazing that's fire like <laughs> just watch less netflix you know it's almost like they they make you feel guilty about taking a shit yeah and it's like i know that there's a lot of fat in my life like you don't need to sit around and just watch netflix and just play video <sighs> games and just get off work and go uh like i do understand that but it gets to a level of like okay I understand that, but what are you doing? Like, I ask our guy. The Magic Indian. The, I asked the Magic Indian. I said, what was it that set this person apart from everyone else? And, like, why is she, like, the example for everything? Like, what did she actually I bet you do? I know the answer to this. And he said to me, I wanted to get, like, business theory. Right. I wanted to get, like, well, she just sat down and she made 50 calls a day or she went to this thing or did this thing. And he said, well, she started putting her dittos on credit cards. Right. She went double core. And she went double core. And we didn't even we didn't even know. Like, we wouldn't have advised her to do that. But she just started putting it on credit yeah, right. cards. And I was just like. <laughs> the fuck? You want to put this shit on credit cards, bro? I already filed bankruptcy one time. Yeah, right. I don't even know if I'm past that limit. Because you got to wait. Uh, you can't do it, like, back to back. Right. I can't put all this shit. And you know what? Now that you think about it, these rich people, when you got so much money, what what do they do when businesses fail? They start no. They file bankruptcy. They start no. So you can max out all these credit cards on your ditto, get all these bonuses. Well, how's that gonna? When you already have all these assets, you already got your house and all that paid for. You don't need it. The, your, their credit don't mean shit to you no more. Right. So there's some, I'm just, there's someone smarter than me who's done more research, who knows more. My gut is telling me this is some sadistic, satanic level, rich people, money laundering scheme. And I heard they be fucking each other, but that's a whole uh, other story. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> that's how, you know, you know there's the white guys watching the, the, the cucking. You know that oh. they've got people tied up. Oh. You know there's some kind of weird shit going on. There's always that kind of shit wherever you go with this stuff. But bro, I would just say people. 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 If you're listening. Trust your gut. Trust your gut and just really think about your life. Try to practice some gratitude because when getting out of this, there was a few things that I learned. There was some things that I realized I do need to sew up. But I became out way more grateful for the life that I've set up now where, where I'm not having to go to these this tomfoolery. It was just a bunch of tomfoolery. And, you know, it... I'm just I'm just glad we didn't we didn't go down like some of these folks have been saying. Yeah, man. I, I look at it and it's as embarrassing as it is to say, you know, I lost a couple grand fucking with the scheme. 
But it could have been worse because I've heard people's story of losing their houses and losing 20000 and 50000 Or being in it years and years and right. years and, and years. Fucking up their relationships with their friends. And, like, I'm just glad that I was able to kind of come out the fog before it was too late, before I was financially ruined. But more importantly, I drove my friends to financial ruin. That is what I wouldn't have been able to, to deal with. Yeah, it's just kind of funny how after a couple weeks of not smoking, we went, hold on a second. Right, right, right. Hold on a minute. Right. Something ain't right. So the mentorship <laughs> helped us stop smoking, but it also yeah. helped us get out of the business because, yeah, bro, being sober, and you talking about somebody who loved to smoke weed. But, I mean. Being sober, though, yeah. man, that is the best life to live because your third eye is always open. You know what I mean? And. It did not take long. I knew once I knew my girlfriend was in trouble once I stopped smoking, but <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know the business was in trouble when I stopped. But I started to think about it more and more, and I spent nights just sitting in my computer, just looking at numbers, and I'm like, "Man, you're gonna have to spend about fifty thousand dollars before you get to the damn diamond level. You're gonna spend a hundred grand before you get if you get because." They can, they pick, can and pick and choose who they want. So if you're not playing their scheme or you're not somebody that they know they can really lock in and manipulate you, they're not fucking with you. So you just buy into these damn products every month, watching your money. If you're going to join a mentorship program for Amway, you better off going out to your nearest homeless person and giving them $100 a week. <laughs> no one going to go get high. <laughs> or whatever they gonna do I, I mean yeah or just google like i mean there's books there's book lists i mean google google amway success stories and nothing but negativity pops up so that should tell you something i would say i really did like the book um atomic habits yeah i, that, I thought that they, was great books. i didn't slick. i didn't know about that one i thought that that was a good one they um, are slick they get you, but all. I feel like, but I feel like all those books and all that stuff are just typical books that just normal people know. I'm just my, I'm a very good, dangerous combination of of skepticism and a a little. It's like a little bit above average IQ. Like I'm 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 smart enough to not be dumb. Yeah, I know what you mean. If, that, if that makes sense, yeah, it makes perfect sense. And and I just and then when you also are so negative and you've heard that you're negative for for a long time, that you, you try to allow you try to give people the benefit of the doubt. It's a very and, and then, then you, you meet, and then it. and then you're on that hope. But you better give my the doubt. No, no, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no more. Like not not you can. I'll be a negative Nancy. I, but but man, I can't wait. Until the next person tries to fucking tell me about a mentor or talk to me about some MLM hey, those shit. Are some nice headphones. And I'm going to be like, fuck off. Yeah. With all the matter of fact, I ain't even going to give you my due respect. I'm going to tell you to fuck off. If anybody's in, you watching this and you're in the bank or you're in the gym or you're in a coffee shop and somebody starts coming up to you and going, hey, man, it's a nice pair of shoes. Tell them to fuck off because they about to try to drop the message. Yeah, they're about to say, well, you know, man, I just, what what do you do for a living? Oh, well, you know, I'm, I tell people to fuck off. That's what I, I do. I, I work at a, I work at an office. Oh, is it a nine to five? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, man, I just, you know, I've been really learning about this passive income. <laughs> Bro. If they start bringing up things like that out of kind of nowhere really quick. Bro, run. Run, just, run. Yeah, just, man. But I'm trying to think of anything else. No, nah, I don't um, think we didn't cover everything. We talked yeah, about, that, yeah. That was my story. That was my story. I hope you, I hope that it really <laughs> inspired you. I hope that you really get something out of it. And I really hope that you just keep working hard, okay? And keep the faith. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. <laughs>